And now, with today's show, here's Archie Phillips and America's leading female bow hunter, Regina Terrell. All right, folks, now we got a safari trip we fixed to do today. We're going to have more fun than the Maryland monkeys. And, Regina, tell them who all we got on this ship right here. Okay, we have Larry Starlin, Bill Bubba Bussy, Dennis Turner, our catfish captain. He, he's our he's our safari leader. Right. Catfish king. Catfish, catfish king. king. There you go, Dan. And we have uh, Mark Milton and Rick Burgess. Okay. <laughs> Phyllis Franklin, Jim McGowan, and Tony Franklin. All right, now Tony and Phyllis, they're the captains of the ship here. Right. They provide us this fine boat. We're up here at Pruitt Fish Camp on uh, Weiss Lake. Weiss Lake. Now, now, these two gentlemen in the yellow here, now what do they do for a living? I have a radio station, it's called Rick and Bubba's on Q104. 104, I want y'all folks to all listen it. And we got these other two gentlemen, what do they do? They're our wild game cooks, oh, yeah. Larry and Mark. Never <clears throat> and they do hunting shows, right? That's it. Every yeah. Saturday up there. So Dennis has agreed to take us out here and, and, and introduce some of these folks to some of the finest catfish grabbing there ever was, and this lake right here is full of them, and I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> is everybody ready? Let's get them! Let's get them! Yeah! Somebody told cook me them. we were going to Red Lobster to eat. <laughs> <laughs> he's got oh, he's got it! Look at him! Hey! Wow! Let's both come out. <laughs> oh, cool! Look at that! Don't let it get in him! Hold him! Hold him! Bring him in, Jim! Oh, Give him that pole over there, Dennis. Give him a hand. Let him get on that pole. Hey, that's in the boat. We'll pull him in. There Watch you go. The head off of it, there you go. Watch it, Jim. Here's the wrench, Jim. There you got him. Oh, look at there. Look oh. at that thing. Yeah. Oh. All right. Is he hooked good, Dennis? You better ease up there and get him. Hey, look at that! Hot oh, dog! What a catfish! Looky there! Hot dog! Folks, we got these celebrities here on the boat with us. And these boys here, I tell you, they'd be commended that they, 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 they both, uh, both groups of them, they started their own radio show. And y'all do hunting and fishing, you just because you like hunting fish, That's right? That's it. And uh, and y'all boys, y'all do y'all do it all too, don't you? Just whatever they want to talk about. Well, it's kind of like they hunt and fish, Archie, and we eat whatever they whatever they ham up. Now, how did y'all two get together? <laughs> well, uh, we were we were doing our program, and they came by and said they wanted to come bring us some food. And you know, we're the two sexiest fat men alive, so we said, hey, if there's food, I think that's pretty obvious, <laughs> don't you think, Archie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could not. We didn't have to say that. I guess. Yeah, a lot of people are already thinking that in their mind. Right. But so they said they was gonna come up and cook for us. Well, they they put on a production, Archie. I'm talking about they cooked and they they had more game than we'd ever seen. We put them on the show with us. Everybody thought they were funny, and we said, well, this is a great combination. They hem it up. They hunt it. They bag it. We eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now now uh, Larry and Mark here. I went to one of their productions. They're real good with kids and. Uh, they had 300 kids they invited over, and they dumped 1,800 pounds of catfish in this pond over there. And invited them kids, didn't cost them nothing. They had sponsors that furnished a half a chicken to every kid that come. Fishing rods, bait, everything, and everybody just had a great time. And boy, I, I, I really thought that was that was a real show y'all put on. We had a good time there. with that, Archie, and appreciate you uh, sharing uh, our little part of the world with everybody else. Well, uh, and you know, we got to talking about these catfishes and these folks want to come out here and, 
and see Dennis at work. Now, now he, he, he's a champion, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, catfish is <laughs> king, baby. Catfish Archie king. told me we were going to eat catfish. He didn't say nothing about catching it. I, I was all confused. We're going to pull these catfish out from under these piers here, and, and we're going to... Yo, that'll be y'all's department. Well, we'll handle it. <laughs> you catch them and we'll handle it. They, they got, got a crew right back here. here, and we're fixing to let these boys put a little expertise on us here in just a minute. But uh, y'all are going to get your show syndicated now around the country. That's and, right. Uh, uh, we're on right now, Archie. Uh, this is the network here, and uh, we're on uh, Q104 in northeast Alabama, Rock 105 in the west Alabama and Tuscaloosa. And uh, we're also on in Huntsville on 92.5 and 941. WXQ. Yes. About the time we get this show edited, I want to I want to see Bub and Rick all over the United States. Hey, the Archie. So would we, Archie. More of that thinking. Archie. That's right. So we got <laughs> meet our new agent, Archie Phillips. Archie Phillips. Uh, and then we got we got Dennis getting the catfish, Larry and Mark cooking the catfish, and then we're here for our expertise eating, eating the, the catfish. catfish. <laughs> all right, well, let's get let's get one out one here, and we'll be ready to go. You got you got him on, Rick. I mean, uh, Dennis. You have to swim again. All right. Yeah. We, got, we got Mark coming in and he's going to. Don't let him get go out of the hole until he gets there. Go, go, go get him, Mark. Go get him, Mark. Hey, go get him, Mark. Bring it to him, Mark. Don't you carry Mark out here in the deep water let him pass. All right, well, Mark's actually having to swim. There we go. All right. Okay, look at Mark. <laughs> Mark. All right, Mark. Short. Get him out of that hole. Get him, Mark. <laughs> Oh, he did that underwater thing. Yeah, he's doing that underwater thing right now. He's Watch going, that hook, Mark. It's just pretty deep. He's got to pull him out of there. We're Can't, hungry, Mark. We're hungry. Cane protein. Bring us lunch, Mark. Yeah. Put the catfish call on him, uh, Rick. <laughs> yeah, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Yow. What's up, catfish? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dennis, back, back on it. This must be this must be a tough one. Let's look at Mark Middleton's. Yeah. Don't look at Mark trying to stay. He's up to his eyeballs too. Look at Yana. Of course, Mark wearing his life jacket is all prescribed. What is he stuck in that hole? Oh look, look, here comes. I cannot believe he goes on that water. Well, he has to go on there to get him sometimes. He can't, you can't pull him out. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Hold him, Mark. Hold him, Mark. Hey. You better get over and toward that ramp. No, hold him, hold him, Mark. Back him out, back him out. Don't slip. Don't slip. Woo! Hey, look at that! Look at that! Lights! Lights! Lights the grill! Woo! Man, what a nice catfish! Yeah. Look at that! Turn, turn your belly around! Look at that! Oh, goodness gracious, a lot. How, how big you think he is, Dave? Thirty. He's 30 more pounds. like fifty pounds. All right, now Dennis, tell us how we're gonna do this thing. All right, Archie, we got a rope tied on on here on this hook. Y'all see that rope right there? I see it, Archie. I got it. Like, Y'all like the size of these hooks? Ten off to you. Ten off. Ten off. <laughs> high, 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 what about five hundred pound line? Pretty close. Dude. That's, that's my kind of fishing, ain't that's it? Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Get a big one. They don't get away from that, Archie. All right, now what do we do? What's the deal now? What we do, we, we got a uh, washer or either a stick, something on the end of it to keep the fish from pulling on through with. All right, I'm going to pull mine up and show them my, my deal here. Got this about four foot of line, it looks like. Well, that one's five foot. Five it's foot. foot. Got, a little, got a little doodad on the end right there. That keeps that line from coming through this hole, right? Right. right. Yeah. All right. It gives you five foot of line for that fish to play with out there in front of you, so he don't twist the hooks out of his mouth. I see. All right, now tell them how we how we find these catfish. Now we take our feet, we walk down the edge of boat ramps, sea walls, uh, rock beds sometimes, and we take and just uh, when we find a hole with a foot, we back out of it. We take this pole and we stick it in there and keep it just up off the bottom, and just slide it in real slow and easy, just backwards and forwards, like this. Right. That way it intimidates fish and he'll reach and grab it. 
He'll grab his bare hook, won't he? Grab that bare hook. I've had him to bust a pole from back here past the hook. Now tell him <laughs> about what size you caught last week when I wasn't with you, that big caught, one. Caught one that weighs 62 pounds of blue cat. 62, 62 pounds. pounder. That's a lot of eating right there. Well, let me I tell you, a 62 call. pound blue cat on the, on the end of this PVC. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look how it bends now. See that? Right, and I was out in water up to neck deep. Neck when I deep. Caught it. Now, see the key to this thing that Dennis likes them little shallow ones where you go up in there and they may be about two foot. Right. Then you can stand up and you got everything under control. But when you get out there up to here, he's in control. <laughs> if he gets you overbalanced, he's going to carry you pretty much where he wants to. Carry you for a ride. Is he dragging you around? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, uh, yeah. All right, well, let's go find us another hole. And uh, Dennis, give him a little, little quick thing of how you discovered this method. I went out one day, I was standing on a boat pier fishing, and uh, this fish comes went up the side of it, and I watched him. And he just turned sideways and just disappeared up on our boat ramp, concrete ramp, to back your boat on. So I tied on a treble hook on a bass rod, eased up there and go try to snag him, get him up out of there. And uh, he just reached and grabbed my rod, busted it up real bad, broke my line, and he took off. So I was fixing water lines one day, and I, I come across this pipe while I was doing that, and I got to think, well, that right there may work for fishing. So I went and got a hook to put in there. Needless to say, I didn't finish water lines that afternoon. I come back fishing. <laughs> come back fishing. All right, now y'all gonna see this. That's real simple. Got this 10 all hook, 300 pound, and a half inch hot water pipe, ain't it? Right. Hot water PVC, four feet sticking out the bottom with a little T on it. Now what happens when he snags that fish, all this line goes up in there and it stops on that little thing right there, and then you fight him just like you got a regular old rod out there, and the fun begins. <laughs> oh, man, you're talking about fun. This is about the funnest thing I know what to do. All right, let's do it some more, Dennis. All right, first. Archie Phillips, here's what we're going to do now. This is our chance to take Big Dennis, and we're going to knight him Catfish King. Are y'all ready? Ready. Here we go. We now knight you, Dennis. Catfish King! Yay! <laughs> we don't have a place to put that fish. I can't. Come on, Archie, speak up. What you doing? I ain't got him. I ain't got him. I ain't got him. How you going? You got him. You got him. Who's going to catch Archie? venom in there, supposedly to keep my finger from swelling up big as a football. Hit his belly one time with it. There you go. There you go. Very good. All right. Now, this is what we're going to cook, ain't it, gang? Yeah. All right, we'll bring him up there and cook him. All right, let's load him up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> Larry has just jumped in and he is on his way up here to help Dennis roust that catfish out of that boat ramp. Here we go, Larry. Get a hold of that thing, Larry. Come on, we're gonna root for you. Get out of the way, Dennis, let him go. He's gonna pull him out. Come on, come on, come on. Hold him now, Larry. You gotta, you gotta wiggle him out, uh, Dennis. There it goes! Hold him, hold him, hold him there! Don't let him, don't let him get near your feet! Hold him there, hold him! Oh, there he comes! Oh, he's got a good look at that thing! Look at that! Holy Michael! Look at old Larry got that thing! Yeah, walk him up to the concrete! There he goes! Yeah, he was mad! I'd be mad too if you jerked me out front of my house under there! Look at that set pole bin! Look at him! All the way to ramp. Look at that big old. My oh, goodness. Watch him Easy on him. There you go. Look at that catfish. Yeah. You know, Archie, here we up on the Weiss Lake. And you know, you hear a lot of these bass anglers talk about how it's hard to let a pound and a half little bass go back and stuff like that. But of course, you know, we've done caught some, some catfish today. We got one on the grill cooking right now. Hey, we got plenty. We don't need no more. So we're gonna do the right thing. Uh, we're gonna let this fish go back so maybe some youngster out there have the opportunity to get out in the outdoors and enjoy catching just like that. Bottle of fun. We'll let it go right there. Pretty good. Hey, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right off the leg. <laughs> Give me a little shot. Every <laughs> <laughs> time I step on a fish, I just think alligator gar. I don't know. <laughs> you feel him anymore, Dennis? Oh, me. Archie, uh, Rick, and I grew up high schools down the street from each other. We knew each other, but Rick worked at a car wash down the street, and I knew his boss but he did a great imitation of his boss. And he used to tell it to me, this story, on my birthday every year, so I would laugh. It was my present, and now we have shared it with a radio audience, and everybody loves it. He's known as Joe the Car Wash Guy. Rick, tell him the story. Well, you know, Archie, you know, when you're growing up, you do things you probably shouldn't have done, but I, I got to where I could do our boss real good. He had a real high-pitched voice like this, and so I, I got to where I could call in to the to car wash and act like I was him on the phone. Tell him how big he was. Well, he, he'd go by, he's about 435 pounds. And, and, he, and he could barely breathe, so when he talked, his, his breathing would kind of cut off right toward the end. You had to master that or they didn't believe it was him. And he had a big old Jaguar uh, that, that he drove. And it looked like somebody had set him down and built it around him. You know, he was just stuffed all in that thing and had all kinds of money. And he'd always call up and say, run me a Z. On the on the register, and if it you know he just wanted how much money he was making. Well, it was an X to get the total. An X yeah. to get the total of Z to shut it yeah, down. Yeah, you've ever worked convenience store, you know how that works. Yeah, hurts. so so my buddies, if you can imagine, we'd be out on Friday night and they'd start chanting, "Shut the car wash down, shut the car wash down." I know, nah, nah. so I go to payphone over at the mall there where we grew up, and you could see the car wash from there, and I and I'd call up. There's a boy named Ronnie Specter, and he was probably fell for it more than anybody. I, and I'd get him on the phone. I'd say, Ronnie, this is Joe, and run me an X. I'd say, what kind of name we have? You know, and I'd cut in, and he'd just run that X. I'd say, it'd be like 9 o'clock, you're supposed to close about 11. And I'd say, that's a pretty good day. Run the city, go ahead and shut her down. <laughs> and, 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 and everybody, and you see him lights, bloop, 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 start cutting off in that car wash, and everybody be laughing. Oh, Ronnie shut it down about two hours. So when that started working, I said, well, I'm really going to do some stuff. We had old marquee sign out front. I called him, I said, Ronnie Spector's Rick Burge is working. He said, no, sir, he's not here today. I said, get out there on the marquee and put Rick Burge as employee of the month. <laughs> like that. And he'd get out there and I'd be on the sign and, 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 Big, and, and Big Joe come riding that Jaguar. What the? He'd see that sign out there. We don't even have employee of the month. Like that. I mean, he'd just go crazy. Tell him about the trick you pulled so, on a new employee. Yeah, so if it was a new employee, Big Joe would come driving up and, that, and we would tell him you had the grease guns that you greased the car wash with. So he'd pull up, and I tell, I get the grease gun. I say, son, you need to get that grease gun. Go around and help, uh, help Joe. And he said, dude. And they said, what? I said, well, he's so fat. I said, he can't, he can't get out of that car. I said, you're gonna have to grease him up to get him out. <laughs> the old employees would look at me. I said, look, you need to do it. Don't make him sit back here and get all oh, hot. Oh, he gets mad. Gets mad, you know. And they'd walk around that grease gun like, and he'd go, what are you doing, 
Like he said, they stand there on the blind He said, well, sir, I'm here to grace you to get you out to go, what? What are you talking about? You know, and then that old boy come running back around the corner. And I mean, you should, you know, I know you should, you, you shouldn't do it. And, and if I was at work, you know, and I wanted to leave early, I'd just dial up the other line. I'd call him, I'd say, hey, Willie, is Rick Burgess working today? <laughs> he said, yes, sir. I said, tell him to. Knock on off for the rest of the day and give him a hundred dollars. You know, but but you know, I, then I, of course I wouldn't take the money. But I mean, it, it was. Uh, but you did take the day off. But I did take the day off, and I said, no, I tell Joe I, I'm working for the company. Y'all keep that. But I'm gonna knock on off for the rest of the day. So, and if I ever got on, I'd even argue back and forth and. And so, let me speak and to Rick Burgess. After and, this went on for a while, he had a meeting, Rick. Tell him what he said. Well, he, he had a meeting uh, <laughs> at, at, with everybody. And everybody, I, I used to, if he'd come on the lot, I'd walk around, I'd go, man, begging. And I'd say, begging like that. And he'd look, who's calling me, begging? <laughs> he real paranoid about his weight. And, and uh, so he, he got in the meeting. He said, before we go any further, my name is Mr. Anderson. <laughs> he said, it ain't hey, Joe, and it ain't hey, begging. <laughs> you know? So, uh, and everybody dies laughing. So everybody's laughing. I said, man, y'all need to leave Joe alone. And, and, and you know, I was always Go a guy. Go for the repeat. What'd you... uh, and, and so, so, so I said, Mr. Mr. Anderson, could you repeat that for us? Well, I'll tell you one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hey, Joe. And he said, oh, my God, we didn't have any breath by then. He gets so wound up. So, kids, please don't do this kind of stuff at home. Do as we say, not as we do. I don't know who had a good time today. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And we had a, we had a super guide here. Sir Dennis Turner. That's Thank right. you, Big Dennis. Catfish Dennis. King. Catfish King. Dennis. 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 Catfish King, baby. And folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this catfish grabbing trip with uh, Dennis here and, and the boys here with our radio shows. And appreciate y'all coming and participating. Everybody listen, we'll hear about this maybe tomorrow. You better believe it. So we had a great time, and y'all stay tuned again next week. With Outdoors with Archie Phillips.